Hey, what's up you guys? This is Josh Petruccio from Internet Money and today I'm going to show you how to better build melodies around samples. Uh, I know Nick went over a tutorial on how you guys can find samples. Go check that out first and after you found something come back here and I can show you a little trick on how I build melodies around my samples a little better. Uh, this helps especially for people who aren't very musically inclined by like myself and have trouble uh, finding out the key of things and building melodies around uh, different things that you've cut. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a beat I made a few months ago called Manic. I co-produced this with JP Sounds. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description along with the video in case you guys want to check out the final product. So the first step I'm going to be showing you guys today is sampling. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find your sample. This is one I found from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, this is what it originally sounded like. Okay, so after I cut the part that I wanted to, I had to time stretch it to make it fit within the tempo of the beat. After that, it still didn't uh, sound quite right. It didn't fit very well, so I had to manually go through and uh, chop the pieces that I wanted and put them where I wanted. There's a few ways that you can do this. Um, slice X, gross beat couple different methods I might go uh, into that in another video or so but right now I'm just gonna show you how to better build melodies around the sample that you found okay so after you've cut your sample the way you wanted to obviously you can go through and uh, add drums and whatnot you know here's your kick and your snare maybe add some hi-hats Okay, so you have that, but it might sound a little empty, and you also might not be sure, uh, you know, where exactly to put your 808s and whatnot. So this is a little trick I do. The first thing you're going to want to do is single out your sample, and then you're going to want to export it. I'll just title it Sample. Uh, do not split the mixer tracks. After it's done exporting, you're going to want to go to your desktop, which is where it'll be, and here I title it Sample, so it's right here. After that, you're going to want to download a little plugin called Key Finder, and this is free, by the way. You can go get this. Just Google it and find it, Pirate Bay, anywhere. And what this will do is after you drag your audio sample in here and you run batch analysis, it'll tell you the key of the sample. So now you know what scale it's in and you know what notes you can use on the beat. So after that, you should now know what key and what scale your sample is in. And this should help you out with not only melodies, but drums as well. For instance, I'm going to open up a sampler, and I already have a lot of these made, uh, ready to go. But for you, you can just Google the key or Google the scale if you're unfamiliar with it, and locate uh, you know, where it's at and create ghost notes. Like I said, I already have pre-made ones. So I open this up. There you go. I've made ghost notes so now I can find out if uh, any melody basically anything that I put in the beat is in scale in the right scale and in the right key for instance here are my 808s so I now know that all of these notes are in the right key and in the right scale of the beat and the sample. So here's what it sounds like. Okay, so next we're gonna focus on creating melodies. What I wanted to do next was lay down some keys. This is what I came up with. advanced in chord progression or anything like that so what I just started off with was some basic notes like this and I skip every other note to make a chord so you're gonna skip every other note and then just use your ear to make sure that everything sounds right
So as you notice, this one right here isn't quite right. So you just move it up or down and try something else. That sounds right. So you go through and hear it again. And there you go, you've got your keys. Now obviously you can get a little bit more complex as you go along, you know, add another note here and there, but I just wanted to keep this part simple. Next what I did was added this synth from Silent right here. Again, I'm making sure that everything is in tune with the sample by using these ghost notes that I created right here and I'm also making sure that they're in tune with the 808. As you can see they line up. So this is what it sounded like together. After that I just added some basic touches, some risers and vocal samples. So next I wanted to add a little bit of a switch up so I took out the 808s and kicks and then I added a little piano riff right here. And then just to add a little bit of emotion I wanted to add something else. This was a backwards piano that I used but it sounded a lot like an electric guitar. And reminded me of something Travis would want to use. So again, I just clicked in notes that I thought sounded good to me, and I made sure that it was all in key by using the ghost notes. Here's what it sounded like all together with the beat. Okay, so after some basic mixing and uh, structuring, the beat was pretty much done. Like I said, uh, using these tools, I was able to, you know, create a simple sample and turn it into something with a lot more emotion. And I was able to make the beat uh, or the sample an instrument in the beat instead of the center focus. So I hope uh, this helps a lot of you guys out like me who aren't on that, you know, Nick Mira God level workflow just yet and are, uh, you know, trying to learn new things. Uh, thank you to JP Sounds. He helped me make a lot of this beat. I go follow him. Make sure you go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that. Let me know what you guys want to see next. See you guys next time.